In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of creating um, objects under the solution tree, uh, which will probe values at specific points. First is, let's say I want to get the displacement at this point where I have a vertex. So all I need to do is highlight solution um, and get to probe and deformation. And I'll say, you know, the default is geometry selection and make sure the vertex selection filter is um, highlighted and click on the vertex there and apply. And so that'll probe the deformation at that point, at that vertex, and I'll say I want the total deformation. And if I click on solve, it'll extract the value of the deformation at that point uh, from the underlying displacement field. And you can see the value is reported over here. <clears throat> and you cannot uh, insert a convergence object uh, for probes. You can do that only for um, things like, you know, which, which are field variables, at least as far as I know. Um, so over here, you have the convergence object available, but over here, you don't. Okay, um, the, um, the other way, so if, let's say you want to probe the deformation at the center of this edge, so where you don't have a vertex. So what you do is um, you go under geometry and highlight edge and select edge. And then you go under coordinate systems and you click create coordinate system. So it'll put the coordinate system, it'll center the coordinate system at the midpoint of whatever geometry entity you selected in our case, this particular line. And you can call it uh, whatever you want. So here by default, it's coordinate system two. And then when I go into the solution branch, um, I click on probe. Um, and again, let me say I'm going to click uh, deformation. So I'm going to probe the deformation at that point. And instead of saying geometry selection, I'll say coordinate system. And location is determined by the origin of the coordinate system that I just selected. So you can see that it's going to probe the deformation value here. Um, and I click on solve. And it gives me all components of the displacement and the total displacement. Um, but again, you cannot invert a, insert a convergence object. So if you want to, you know, check that this value is converged, you will have to go and play around with the with the face sizing. So you can, you know, reduce the face sizing um, and redo the solution and check how much this has changed. So you would have to do it manually.